Good afternoon, everyone. It's Gloria. It's Monday here. And today I wanted to talk with you about a few things and show you what I have on Lily Beth for uh, today's outfit. She is in the Carter's Vintage Garden Party Collection. And uh, it's, let me show you this first before we go into anything else. It's a little two-piece uh, cotton outfit. I have on her a little knit uh, onesie with puff sleeves under it to cover her little arms, of course. But uh, it's such a sweet little outfit. It's cotton, has the signature embroidered um, garden party uh, rose and flowers on the front, trimmed in this adorable little check trim and this beautiful little stitching here at the sleeves and the top and around the pocket. These are real pockets, but they are button closed. Has the little gathered trim at the bottom in the check. Also, her rose bud uh, print pants have the little checked ruffle at the bottom. And she's here uh, in her garden party socks. I love the little scalloped edge that they have and of course the little signature rose. And she has on little leather T-strapped uh, shoes today that have little flower cut out on the front. I love these sweet little shoes. They're by Baby Deer and uh, she's with her garden party lovey and uh, hat with the same patterns and of course she has her Swapinex pacifier in her mouth today. I think she looks awfully sweet. Hope you think so too. I'm going to try to make this uh, rather uh, fast if I can. This is the third try I've done on this. Uh, apparently I hit the slow motion button and uh, I, you won't even believe where what that sounded like uh, when I went to play it back. So whew, hope for better things on this time around. But anyway, on Saturday I went shopping with my husband uh, to buy him some pants and shirts at the department store and uh, we were looking in the Ralph Lauren department and he knows that I love Ralph Lauren baby clothes, so I asked him if it would be okay if I would go in that department and look. And um, usually, you know, things are not on sale there. They are full price and not affordable for me <laughs> to buy for Lily Beth. But um, anyway, I was uh, quite surprised that I found a blanket to an outfit that I've had a couple of seasons now. And uh, so it was still marked $35, the original price. But I thought since it was old inventory, I would check with the cashier and see if perhaps they had reduced the price. Well, sure enough, they had. It was $8 and change. And my, I looked over at my husband and he said, sure, go on and buy it if you want to. So, you know, it was our fun afternoon out. And so usually when I get in that kind of mood, uh, he'll pre pretty much go along with whatever I want to buy. So I took advantage of that and bought the uh, blanket. And um, you all, when you see it, will... I'm sure remember if you've watched my videos, um, I had Lily Beth in the Footless Sleeper several months back and Suzanne, my dear friend from Sweden had sent me this lovely uh, Happy Mail gifts um, that included the matching bear. And uh, it was so sweet of her and I have just enjoyed using that bear in the bassinet so much. Well, anyway, I went on and uh, I was looking at the Ralph Lauren baby shoes, and they're always way overpriced, never on sale, and hardly ever do I see them in a size zero. But I have always wanted the little canvas slip-ons uh, to go with um, several of Lily Best's uh, Ralph Lauren tennis-style uh, dresses that I have for her. I bought all of those at either a consignment sale or a thrift store, and... Uh, just never have been able to find them in that size or find ones that were affordable. Well, they usually are $28.50 and they at, they actually had a pair in a size zero and so I had the cashier price check those and for some reason they were $15.50. Well, that was still very expensive, but I thought I probably would never come across the size zero again and certainly not at that price. So. I looked over at my husband. He said, sure, go on and get them. So, so I took advantage again, did that, and uh, I'm so glad I did. I'm going to show you those things very quickly here. This is the um, footless sleeper that I have for Lily Beth in that beautiful, beautiful pattern by Ralph Lauren. And uh, this is the bear that my precious friend Suzanne sent me. Just love, love, love this bear. And here is the blanket that I found Saturday. 
And I love blankets that match the outfits. I, I love to put together an entire ensemble. And so this will make it possible. Can't wait to get this on her uh, at night. It's gonna be so, so sweet. And um, I dropped the shoe a minute ago and I think it's probably rolled under a piece of furniture or something, so I can't find the other one. But here is the um, one of them, the little uh, slip-on canvas shoe. I think it's so cute. They're a little bit wide, but all of Ralph Lauren's shoes uh, run wide like this. Has the embroidered Ralph Lauren on the bottom uh, and, the, of course, the little polo fella there. And uh, I just know she's going to be adorable in this, and they do fit her. A little bit wide, but that's okay. She's going to have socks on with them, so it won't matter. Okay, also, uh, another thing I want to, to talk to you about is I've noticed there's been a lot of tags going on in the community. I have not participated in one in a very long time, but one that uh, really struck my interest was uh, whether or not you have changed the gender of uh, any of your reborn dolls. Well, as you all know, Lily Beth is my reborn baby. I do have Anna Lee, but uh, she is really more for when my granddaughter comes to visit. Uh, but uh, so I consider Lily Beth my one and only. And uh, as you may know, Casper uh, is the sculpt uh, that Lily Beth is made from by Krista Gottson. It, it is a boy sculpt. Although I have seen just about as many girls in this sculpt as I have boys. And uh, Lily Beth will always be a girl to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, but because of that, I have thought on occasion what it would be like to put her in a uh, boy's outfit and fix her hair like a little boy and just to see what she would look like. And I happen to have uh, Feltman Brothers, a uh, beautiful, beautiful little gown that I got at the thrift store a couple of years ago and it's in a pale baby blue, and I just love it. Uh, I think it's blue, or it's either white with blue trim. I haven't looked at it in a long time. But anyway, I have a number of baby blue items since I love to put baby blue on Lily Beth, so I am going to dress her as a little boy uh, just to see what she will look like. Now, I have to say that uh, in the past, I have thought about perhaps uh, letting her be a boy for just a few weeks uh, just so that I could enjoy buying little boy clothes and uh, seeing what they look like on her. And since, you know, it would be better than buying two babies, I'd kind of have two in one. But uh, she would always go back to being my little girl. But uh, anyway, I want to try that. So I'll be doing a video of that uh, very soon when I put that uh, little boy outfit on her. And I uh, hope you'll enjoy seeing her as a little boy. But now she's not going to stay a boy. This is my sweet, precious Lily Beth. So, you know, this is the way she's going to be. <laughs> That's just going to be more for fun than anything else. And one other thing before I leave you all is I know that uh, uh, many of you in the community are, are Christian women and men, uh, prayer warriors, uh, praying for uh, the community, our country, our world all the time. But I just want to say a special, um, or put out a special, <laughs> uh, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. But anyway, to all of you to please, please uh, be in intercessory prayer at this time for our nation, for our world, for uh, our state, cities, counties, for our leaders, for our military, for our um, police officers, for our support personnel. These folks have a very, very hard job. They lay their lives down for us every day. Uh, evil would be completely out of control if it weren't for these people. And so uh, I just pray for them now. I pray for those who um, are have lost loved ones lately and uh, in these situations, uh, both black, white. You know, when it comes down to it, we are members of the human race. It doesn't matter if we're black, white, purple, green, pink, yellow, red. It doesn't matter. In God's eyes, we He created the human race. And um, he called us in his commandments to love one another 
as we love ourselves. And uh, I know that if this commandment were carried through, we wouldn't be going through any of this right now. But I also know that that's not possible in a fallen world. And uh, But we can um, stave off the enemy with prayer. You know, uh, God's word is like a two-edged sword. It will not return to him void. And uh, we just need to plead the blood of Jesus on these situations, on our uh, loved ones, friends, and uh, those about us. And um, I'm telling you, the only time we're going to have peace, uh, security, and love, truly, is when the Lord Jesus Christ returns and sets his kingdom up on this earth. It will be a new earth, and uh, you know things will be wonderful then. But we're not going to be in that earth unless we belong to him. So I ask any of you that don't know Jesus as Lord to please, uh, you know, please ask him to uh, just speak to you. Say, if you're real, Lord, please show me that you're real. And he will. He will show you. And if you ask him to forgive your sins, he will come into your heart. He will make you a new creature. Uh, things will be different in your life. And if everybody would do that, it would be a different world. I know that's not possible, but we need to reach as many people as we can in these last days. And uh, anyway, right now, I'm just uh, asking you to uh, be in prayer for all of the people uh, that I've mentioned. And uh, anyway, I just send blessings, hugs, and love to all of you in the name of uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Jesus Christ, our Messiah, and our Lord and Redeemer and Savior. So, bye-bye, everybody, and God bless.